Welcome to this video about learning and teaching at Topperden High School. My name is Mrs Mansfield and I'm the Assistant Head Teacher for Learning and Teaching. And with me is Mrs Keat, a member of the Learning and Teaching team. Here at Topperden High School, we believe that uh, learning and teaching is absolutely crucial to everything we do. It's values driven within our values of ambition, respect, care and honesty just like everything that we do at the school. Learning and teaching here is evidence-based. We care about making sure that everything we do is the right thing in the classroom based on the best available evidence. As a learning and teaching team and as a staff, we read widely about the best possible practices in education at the moment. We hold a culture as a school through our vision statement of developing the unique potential of everyone. Uh, and we ensure that all of our staff are working on the things that they want to do to be better teachers in the classroom. We also have a focus on our curriculum, ensuring that we have coherent sequencing across all of our subjects and between our subjects and ambitious content in every one of our lessons that goes beyond the requirements of the national curriculum and GCSE specifications. We also focus rigorously on assessment and assessment for learning, which means that we can respond to the students and their needs and their next steps. In order to ensure consistency for our learners, at Todmorden, we have our DNA of teaching and learning. This is our expectations in every single lesson that mean that the students get a clear start of the lesson and know what to expect. In all our lessons, we begin with the silent start. This is a positive beginning to the lesson, ensuring that students are focused. And we really st stress with students the importance of recall and retention of key knowledge in these silent starts. Our teachers are skillful at their questioning and we practice this as a team on a regular basis in CPD to ensure that the questions that we ask of, the, of our students get them to think deeply about their learning and assess where they are up to and think about their next steps. We plan ambitious content and we create self-regulated learners, students who know how to plan, monitor and evaluate their work ensuring that they are equipped with skills for life. We create success for all our learners and at the end of every lesson we ensure that there is an orderly dismissal so that our teachers and our students support each other to make sure that they get on with their day in a positive and focused way. We have a real push on the presentation of work for our students because we believe that excellent presentation aids revision and is an indication of good attitudes to learning. All of our students are expected to be proud of their work, writing in black ink with legible handwriting and keeping everything that they do in their exercise books and in any other pieces of work that they create to the very highest standards. Assessment is a really important part of learning and teaching and we talk uh, to students and to staff about four strands of assessment. The summative assessment, which is often our end of year, end of topic tests or end of year tests, um, are used to assess where students are up to. But we also use this to inform our planning so that we can make sure that we're addressing students next steps and taking them further in their learning. Regularly and often in written form, we produce diagnostic assessments that lead to our planning and greater focus on what the students need. Regularly, we also make sure that we dot mark our literacy, meaning students can see where their errors are, but need to think for themselves as to how to correct them. And in every single lesson, in line with our skillful questioning, we check for the understanding of all of our students through conversations, through checking what they've written in their books and through um, mini tests and um, recall practice. Mrs Keats is now going to talk a little bit more about assessment and what she does in her classroom. 
Hi, so as teachers, we regularly assess our students in the various ways mentioned. Assessment is integral to learning and success for all and is an important part of Tomadin's DNA. Students become accustomed to the different ways of assessment and value the impact it has on their learning and becomes part of the daily routine within all lessons. So this is an example that I have used with my now year 11 group. So we regularly read students' work and provide accurate feedback that requires them to take the next steps in their learning and to make progress. Reading through a class lot of work and making sure that we identify the strengths and also the next steps and it informs the teacher's planning. This is what I do regularly in the classroom, modelling how work is meant to be. This is really important and vital for success and the students use this as a template for their own responses and ensures all the elements of the answer are covered and more importantly skills are practiced leading to success for all. This is another aspect of how we mark flash codes are used throughout reading and writing activities to ensure students are fully aware of what skills are needed. The codes are used and are highly effective in creating self-regulated learners because they can see at a glance what skills are used and what needs to be improved. It is also essential for the teachers as they help to inform the next steps in their planning. Thank you for your time this, today listening to our presentation about learning and teaching at Tottenham High School. We're very proud of the teachers um, that we have at the school and how hard everybody works to ensure that we provide uh, responsive learning and teaching in line with our DNA every day for our students. We hope that you will consider Tottenham High School as being, to be the right place to send your child for the next steps in their learning and development. Thank you. Thank you.